Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. In this session, we will try to build a machine learning model to predict a heart disease. Okay, it will be a supervised mach machine learning model because we get the output also in the data set. And this model will try to solve the classification problem, like you know whether the patient has a heart disease or not. Okay, so let us uh, go and download the data set from the you know, Kaggle website. So here is a Kaggle website from, uh, from where we, you can download the uh, data set. Okay, so either you can click on the, this uh, download or else you can download from here as well. Okay, once you click on this, yeah, it will get downloaded to your machine. So I have already downloaded the data set, so let me open that. So where is the data set? Okay, the data will be looked like this. So these are my independent variables or features, and this will be my, you know, or the dependent variable or, you know, the label. Okay, so let us try to understand, you know, the, the meaning of these features. Well, it will be helpful if you if you know the, you know, the meaning of these features, you know, while building your you know, model. Let's go back to the Kaggle. So in the Kaggle website, you can find the, the meanings or the, you know, the details about each feature. Okay. So just click on this. So these are the features of the you know, given data set. So we'll try to understand, you know, to what is this feature and also we'll try to know whether it is a numerical feature or a categorical feature. Okay. So this is the age. Okay. Age of the patient and it's a sex. Okay. One means male and zero means female. Uh, it means this is not a numerical feature. It is a categorical feature. Okay. Uh, similarly, the chest pain. It seems to be start from zero to three. Okay. I guess this is also you know the categorical feature only. And this is ninety four to two hundred. That is a, a resting blood pressure. Uh, it is in you know HG uh, unit. So I think it is a numerical. Okay. So the FBS also seems to be the categorical because one one is true and zero is false. Okay. So likewise we can you know. Uh, we can know whether you know the given features having a categorical features or not okay so these are you know seems to be categorical feature this one the slope uh, ca and tal okay so so that's all about you know the understanding of the data set now we will try to write a machine learning program to read this data set and then we'll try to do some data pre-processing activities okay before implementing a model so let's uh, jump to the jupyter notebook and you know open the five python shell this is my notebook, Jupyter notebook. I'll open the Python shell. Okay, so I already have a heart, you know, the heart, heart dot CSV data set. Using Pandas libraries, uh, we can read the data set and create a data frame. Okay, so let me import the Pandas library. Let us check the basic details about you know our data set. Okay, so object got created. We'll see basic information of uh, these features using the info method. Okay, so all these data types are integer type except you know the old peak. Let me check how many rows it has. So the given data set have the uh, 303 uh, rows and 14 columns. Okay. We'll see for a few more, you know, starts from these features. So we can use a method called describe. This will help us to, you know, uh, understand the feature scaling activity. Okay. So like, you know, age, cholesterol, this feature, and this feature. Having a, you know, the big numbers, okay, compared to the other features like, you know, uh, these, these features, sex feature, and, you know, FBS, these are, you know, start from one to four, I guess, right? So, I think, yeah, we may, you know, have to apply the, uh, the standard scale, scaler also on these features to, to, you know, to scale these features. In data, in data pre-processing -pre activity, first step would be, you know, we have to find out, you know, missing data. Okay, to find that we have a method called isNel. So using this command, we can find. So it seems like there is no missing data in these features. So there is no issue with the you know, other missing data. Okay, so no need to handle the missing data. Now we will check you know, what are the features are categorical. Okay, so as we discussed earlier also, so basically uh, 
uh, the you know the sex CP other uh, similarly we have uh, the FBS rest tag Xang a slope uh, and these seems to be you know CSA seems to be categorical features so I'll try to apply you know uh, the uh, one hot encoding technique to you know convert these categorical features into you know numbers okay so let's go back so basically these mini features has to be uh, converted okay so I'll have to apply one hot encoding technique on these with these mini features okay so using uh, get dummies uh, method, you know, we can convert these uh, categorical features. So let me write a code for that. So I'm applying a one hot encoding technique using a get dummies method. Okay. Now I'll concatenate uh, these, uh, you know, the new vari variables or features, uh, you know, with the, my parent data set and we'll create a new data set. Okay. So here is a command. Okay, using a concat method, we can, you know, append or combine the uh, new features, okay, uh, with, you know, my existing uh, data frame. So let us check. Yes, I can see, you know, those categorical features got converted now. As we have already handled these categorical features, right, so now we do not need these, you know, existing features, right. So what I'll do, I'll drop these features, okay, and I'll create a new data set. So here's the command. So I'm using a drop method, okay, and I'm uh, uh, dropping these mini features. Okay. Now we'll, we will see the feature scaling, okay. So for that, let, let us try to describe the features, okay. You may see most of the features, you know, having a range between, you know, like one to one to four, like that. I guess all these see, even this one as well. But when you talk about, you know, the age, this feature, cholesterol, and whole peak, this seems to be, you know, uh, you know, varies with the high values. So now we will try to, you know, uh, scale these features using a standard scalar uh, library. Okay. So let's input the uh, library called standard scalar. So this is the library, okay, now I'm creating an object for that. Now let me create a list for these uh, features so that I could apply a feature scaling on all these features at once, okay. Using fit transform we can apply a feature scaling on these features, so here is the command. Okay, so I'm going to apply feature scaling on these mini features. Okay, so here is a command. So it's, a, it's a object dot fit transform. Okay, give your features. Okay, so let us check. Yes, this two seems to be, you know, uh, converted. So the, we have applied the feature scaling on these features. So now we are done with the data pre-processing activities. Okay, now we'll try to you know split this uh, data set into you know features and labels. That is you know x and y. So to get the x, uh, x I mean features. So here is a command. So I'm just dropping the target feature from given the data frame. Uh, the similarly we can get the y as well. Okay. So. We, we got the features and labels. Now, we, what we will do, we will split this, you know, data set into you know, training and test set. For that, we have to input a, a cl class called, you know, tra train test split. So here is a command. So basically, this is a library. I have to import, then after I'm splitting uh, the given data set into train and test set using this command, okay? It will be first will be my uh, training set for the X features and the test set for the X features. And similarly for y train and y test. Okay, this is the method. Okay, test side, uh, test size I'm giving the 20%. Okay, let me check the count of uh, train set and test set. Okay, so train set will have has uh, 242 rows, and let's see the test set. It has a 261 rows. Okay. <coughs> 